Hey, welcome back for another Wind Down Wednesday. Big shout out for the SCA for allowing us to do this. We're going to go ahead and begin our Wind Down Wednesday with a few deep breaths, allowing yourself to settle down wherever you're at as we begin our chair yoga today. So again, just taking a deep breath in and letting it go. Maybe take another deep breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just allow yourself to settle down. Awesome. So we're going to start by doing some cat cows here. So maybe placing your hands on your knees or on your table and allowing yourself to bring your chin to your chest, running through your back for cat. And then bringing your head back for cow. Just moving between these two poses with your breath as you inhale and exhale. Just allow yourself to wake up the spine, bring some mindful movement into your body. And when you're ready, we're gonna move in to a nice arms over our head. So kind of like a mountain pose here. So just bringing our arms up and over, allowing ourselves to get comfortable. Maybe taking a back bend if that feels good to you. Looking up towards your hands and allowing your gaze to fall back. Just allowing yourself to bring some gentle movements. And of course, being aware of your breath. In your next exhale, you're just going to bring your hands back down to your, to your heart center. And we're going to make some arm circles. Your arm circles can be as big as you'd like or as little going in one direction and then reversing your direction because we want to make sure we get everything evened out here and when you have enough of that you're going to give yourself a nice tight hug and maybe twist towards the left or the right whichever arm is on top you're going to want to twist in that direction and when you're ready to unhug yourself you're going to let the other arm come on top and twist in that direction. Once you've given yourself enough love, we're gonna inhale, bring our arms all the way back up. This time we're gonna twist in our chair. So again, it's like mountain pose, but with a twist at our hips. So a gentle twist, coming back to center, and then bringing that twist to the other side. Again, just balancing out the body, being mindful, and listening to our breath. When you're ready, bringing your hands back to heart center, we're going to gently do some neck stretches by allowing our left hand to fall on the right cheek and allowing the head to fall to the left. We hold a lot of stress in our neck, so this is a great stretch to relieve, um, to release some stress. And once you feel ready, we're gonna do the other side. So bringing our right hand up and over, allowing it to rest on the left cheek and letting the head fall to the right. Again, allowing yourself to just breathe here, to relax and to mentally take note, where can you release? Where can you let go? Can you let go of anything that doesn't serve you? And when you are ready to come out of it, simply allowing yourself to gently come out and we're going to bring our head all the way back up and then down as if we're saying yes. Just bringing some mindful movement into our neck and then making some head circles going in one direction. Maybe three circles and then switching the direction going in the other, other direction. So counterclockwise, clockwise. And then bringing yourself back to center, we're going to bring our arms all the way back up Gently allowing ourselves to bend toward uh, at the hips. Just allowing ourselves to fall over as we take a few breaths here. Kind of like a forward fold. And when you're ready, just allowing yourself to come back up. Maybe placing one hand on your chest or one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Allowing yourself to feel your breath as you settle here, maybe for three breaths. There's a big inhale and a deep exhale, releasing all things that do not serve you. That's it. Good job, y'all. Again, shout out to the SCEA. And bye, y'all.